Hey everyone, welcome to another Vigaro tutorial. In this video we'll be going over taxes on Vigaro. Taxes can be complicated for businesses. Some areas around the world have simple taxes where they only need to worry about adding one form of tax. But other areas have multiple taxes with different percentages. Now you can add multiple taxes to your services, classes, membership, packages, and products. Along for an easy checkout whether it's in-house or through the online store. Now let's get started. Here we are on the settings menu. To get here, you simply click on the settings tab at the top. Now under things we sell, click on taxes and checkout. Here we'll begin by looking at the taxes section. This is where you'll see all your taxes stored. You are allowed a maximum of four taxes to be saved. Exceeding the limit will not allow you to create another one until one is deleted. You can create a new tax by clicking on add tax. Here you'll be prompted to add the tax name and the percentage of the tax. Remember to make the name easy to identify so you won't get confused during the checkout process. Also, it will be more clear to your customer. Once you click save, your tax will now be shown under taxes. This tax can now be used in checkouts for classes, services, memberships, packages, and products. If you need to edit or delete a tax, you can click on the three dots here. Click on edit to change the name and tax rate or click on delete to remove the tax from the list. This will remove it from any services or products that use it, but will not affect old transactions. Remember to save before leaving the tax and checkout menu. Now let's go over checkout. We can see which tax applies to the current checkout by going over to the tax on the right side and clicking on it. This will show you which tax is being applied and how much the dollar amount is. From here you can also remove the tax if you need to from the checkout. Also no worries if you accidentally remove a tax. You can always add it back by clicking here. If we go over to the customer side, we can see that the taxes are shown to them during an online checkout. Now let's go over to services and classes to see how we connect the tax to either one. For this example, we'll use services. When you create or edit services or classes, there will be a section labeled tax. If you click on it, a drop down window will appear. You can click on the checkbox to apply the tax and then click save at the bottom once you are done. Same can be done when you create or edit a product. One last note about taxes is access levels. You can limit who can modify your taxes by going over to access levels. And next to taxes, you can click the modify button to allow modification of taxes. Now we're all done here. This video was all about taxes on Vagaro. If this video was helpful, be sure to like and comment below. Also, subscribe to the channel to pick up more tips and tricks about the software. Check out the description to follow our social media channels or to start your free trial of Regard today.